Yeah, and get him again. If we get him again, yeah, just keep, yeah, hammering it. <laughs> we even got him after he was dead. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for joining me in Enshrouded, where last time we went to the Hollow Halls with Shniz Elmo. And this time we're going to upgrade some armor and look for a place to call our new home. Because this base, we've kind of outgrown, so I'd like to get something a little bit bigger and fancier. But first, we've got a bunch of stuff to put away from the Hollowed Halls, because I still haven't cleared out my inventory. And I wanted to see if we could craft some new um, armor. So Soldier Set, I'm thinking. Warden Set is Parry. Physical Resistance. Block. Increased Damage Reduction. Health. Yeah, Health, Stamina. I'm thinking Soldier is going to be for us. Yeah, Stamina, Health. Damage, one-handed damage, yep, critical strike, health regeneration and health, and yeah, yep, I think that's going to be for us, but we need padding. <laughs> so for padding, I have been doing some cloth, I'm pretty sure, right? Um, you're not the cloth one, you're the cloth one. Yeah, we got a little bit of cloth, so can she craft us some padding? Yeah, that guy's just creepy, the hollow halls guy. And we need padding. Where is padding? Here's padding. Yeah, can we do... Oh, shift and space to craft multiples, huh? We not? We can't do multiples, though. What? Do I not have enough? Oh, we can't do ten? Because we need... Oh, we need linen. I have linen. Yeah, somewhere. Do I have any left in here? No. Do I have any... Where'd my spindle go? There it is. Yeah, we got a little bit of linen. Alright. Now... Now can we craft multiples? No. Still not. Okay. What are we limited? Oh, fabric is what's limiting us, isn't it? Okay, so fabric is needing... Uh, linen, of course. Let's split you... Let's do 20 and 30. Yeah, confirm that. And put the 20 in here. Oh, it's 2. Two per, okay. And we do have some more flax, so let's get that going. So I'm gonna go do all this stuff around here and probably just cut to when something interesting happens. All right, well, I got some more fabric. So it looks like we do have enough now. So yeah, shift and space. That crafts 10. All we can do plus another one. How much does 11 get us, I wonder? I've got some more flax planted, so we'll be able to do some more cloth soon here. But what can we get? Can we get the helmet? Because our helmet sucks. Yeah, we can definitely get the helmet. Do that, and we'll do the pants. Yeah. And what else can we get? Do we want the gloves? 26 and 13. I think that's the opposite. But then it's damage against melee. One-handed melee. These are health regeneration delay. That's cool, I guess. And health regeneration. Better to be the I think it's the opposite. Right, because these are 13 and 26. Stamina regeneration, health regeneration. These are, yeah, same 12% one-handed melee damage and plus two block. Yeah, I don't know that block... I mean, it seems like when you block, you don't take any damage. But maybe that's a bug, or maybe I just haven't been paying attention. Oh, is our bow not equipped for some reason? Oh, I think I dumped it in a chest accidentally. And, yeah, we need better rings. Mainly that one. That one's pretty good, but that one's not so much. So you, right, 51.20 to 65.26. Yeah, it's exactly the same, just better. And helmet, is that the same deal? 30.20, 39.26, melee critical strike, 12% critical strike. Yeah, it's exactly the same, just better. And it looks better. We can see our eyes now. It's been so long since I had a helmet I could see the eyes on. That's all we made. And then the chest piece, our chest piece is 104, 52, 240, 48. So the chest piece we can make, which we can't make now because we need charcoal. Oh, of all things, I think I have some. So if we want to make that, 104, 52 is the same, right? And then stamina and health. I think that's better. Anything else? Yeah, we need some charcoal. Yeah, we just got a little bit of charcoal. I do need to get some more wood, get some more charcoal going. Whoops. That was targeting the wrong thing. Yeah, give me that one. And then, yeah, we'll worry about the gloves and boots at another time. I am still here. Jeez, I just 
Freaking, that guy is so rude. Ooh, and a cape even? That's fancy. I like it. Oh, we can't spin him. That's no fun. All right, so where can I throw... <laughs> I'm like running out of storage space. This one. This will be where I can throw some stuff. Yeah. All right, and we can just dump all this stuff <laughs> somewhere, maybe. Yeah, right in here. Put that and that. And we're good to go. I dumped some of the arrows that we're not using anymore. We need to use up these copper poison arrows. And then we got some poison iron arrows we picked up in the... Um, what you call it? And then what are we on? Yeah, we're on that. Let's go on the iron because Schnizelmo left us a nice present of a ton of iron arrows. We were just using the bronze arrows in the hollow hulls. We got a bunch of those thanks to him. So we're good there. We're just waiting on that to grow. So I think we're all set. I think I want to make one more tea just because um, it's at 19. Oh, and that reminds me. Grab the friggin' meat. Uh, yeah. That meat. Because <laughs> I keep dumping it in here because, you know, I just, you know, do, uh, what is it, shift, shift R puts everything in there. Yeah. All the stacks. And then it dumps that in there because I don't have it in my hotbar. Because it does not take your hotbar stuff. And tea. You make the tea. Give me one tea, lady. That's endurance. Yeah. Yeah, see, this has stamina recharge and three endurance. And this just has endurance. So... I don't know what the difference is. I mean, I know what stamina recharge is. You know, how fast your stamina goes back. But does raising your endurance just mean that you have, you know, more stamina overall? I'm thinking that's what it means. Do we have the stuff? We do have the stuff to make that. We'll try it out at some point. But I just wanted to get that, yeah, a nice round 20. That makes me feel better in my brain. And do we have some berries laying around somewhere? I think we do. Those are, oh, those are purple berries. Though these are the ones I'm saving just in case I run out everywhere else. I don't have to go elsewhere. I thought I had a ton somewhere. I just want to get that stack finished off. Yeah, not a ton, but enough. Oh, come on. Um, we just, yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm going to keep the keys on me because if I put them in a chest, I'll never remember to grab them when I need them. And I'll end up going to the places that need them and not have them and be really pissed. And it's only two slots, so I think it works out. So let's go take a sleep, and then we'll head on out. All right. Easy as that. So first things first, what were we doing? <laughs> we're looking for a place to have our base. I was kind of thinking, seeing what's in here. Because that's the one big area I haven't been to other than over here. And there is, yeah, some quests and stuff over there. I mean, I suppose we could do that. There's this quest. Oh, that's the big hole in the ground. That one was scary. <laughs> They're all scary to me. Let's go here. We'll clear out this and then head on up here to see if we can find a base location. At least that sounds like a plan to me for the moment. And if we don't find anything interesting, we can always just head on down to that next quest. Should we set that one? Press um, Ectoplasm Press for the Collector. Yeah. Greatest game. That's the one. Right? That's the one we just got from the Huntress. That's just a question mark. What's the other one we got? We got another one from the Carpenter, I think? There's that one. I'm not ready for it all. And that rubble, Rumble in the Catacombs. Yeah, Ectoplasm. I guess... The quest from him either doesn't have a location, or I'm just blind and not seeing it. It's definitely an option. Yeah. Alright. Well, we're heading... Where the heck are we? Yeah, just north. Can we just go straight across? We might be able to. Um, yeah, and of course, now it's down to 19. <laughs> well, it looks like it's nice and slopey over there. And that is the side we need to get. It's the mountain. Ooh. What is that up there? On top of the mountain. That is an interesting thing. Oh, we could just go to that side. There's some red stuff down there. That's no good. Is that where we've been? Yeah, we have been there. So that is the thing for the quest we did before. Well, I don't see a good way to get on top of that mountain. We'll just go for it and hope for the best. 
<laughs> That's my plan. Yeah, it's definitely better to have the better glider. It still is not like flying. I don't have that skill. Oh, that's something to check. Do I have the ability to get that skill? Skills. The, yeah, updraft, we can. Okay, so pressing the jump button while gliding will give you a small height boost. Yeah, skill can be used once per flight. And it has been fixed, is what Schnizelma was saying, but I'm definitely getting it because that will help. We have three left. We can't do much with three, I don't think. No, we don't care about any of that. Eagle Eye. Increase zoom. I don't care about zoom. Counter battery. Damage to ranged enemies. Skill shot. Damage to head increased. Eagle's Bane. Damage against flying enemies increased. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we're going for that. Because everyone knows flying enemies are the bane of my existence. But it looks like there's a nice road to follow here. That probably goes where we want to head. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, there's yeah elixir well. Well, there's a few elixir wells I haven't gotten. Because the elixir wells take time. And I don't want to do it. But I wanted to see what's on top of that mountain. So I will see you momentarily. Well, there's some copper on the side of this mountain. It's on this side, right here. By the thing that looks kind of like somebody's knuckles, like they're doing a fist bump almost, or it could be a butt. Either way, <laughs> just been you know mining my way up here. But I figured somebody might want to know that there's some copper over here. On where do we go? Heading up. There's still a lot of the mountain to go, but there is a thing up there. It looks like we've been up there. So, oh, is that the Raven's Keep? It says it is, so I'm guessing that's what it is. There must be an easier way to get up there, but <laughs> I'm going the hard way this time. Seems like... Oh, there's some VUCA around here. Aha! It's one of these things. Yeah, I was telling Schnizelmo about these. I guess he hasn't seen it. If this is the same thing I'm thinking it is. This is something different. Is this a hollow hall? No. Yeah, this is one of these ones. So there's these weird random doors. And you can bust this door, because yeah... So, we'll bust it real quick just to show you guys. So, let me get the, the right kind of thing going on. Yeah. Sometimes he does that. There we go. Nope. It says ineffective, but if you get... Yeah, there you go. Now it'll work. There we go. So, it does take, yeah, a serious amount. It was like half of my iron pickaxe and a full stamina bar. But, yeah, there's just some people sitting at dinner and they died here. So I'm not sure if these are planned. These are all over, though. Like, I've found probably four or five of them. They all have this. Some of them have, like, lava stuff in here. But, yeah, a lot of them, it's just nothing. Or at least one I found had lava in there. Or, like, that red stuff in the shroud. I don't know if it's actually lava, but, you know, if you're in the shroud, it'll kill you. But, yeah, you bust the door open, and it's just a dinner setting. So, <laughs> in case any of you are interested in that. That's what's in there. It just takes a lot of smashing with a pickaxe. Oh, there's a climbing thing over here. Nice. So, you are kind of supposed to come over here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, some of them... No, the hunter's thing. One of the hunter's quests bring you to brings you to one of these things. So, yeah, they, there's more of them, though, that are around. I don't know if they're just planned for other quests or something, and they aren't, you know, being used quite yet. But I'm going to get to the top one way or another. Well, I made it to the top of this thing. There's a bunch of tumbleweeds up here for some reason. And I'm just trying to find a way to do it so I don't have to mine my way up the whole freaking thing. But it's looking like I'm going to have to. I'll see it in a little bit. I think I may have made it. Not sure. There's still a little bit more up, but I think there's a way possibly from here. Um. Yeah, I'm going to try it. I'm probably going to end up falling off the freaking mountain. Just watch. Oh, come on. So close. So tired of mining. Yeah, give me that. No. It really helps when you double jump works. There, there we go. All right. <laughs> I'm back to where I was. All right. Let's do the safe way. I can get to here. 
Can we stop? Yeah. All right, hang on. Oh, more copper. All right. Yeah, we're just about there. Can we get up here? Yeah, there we go. Whoa. I was not trying to glide. Yeah, this we were here before, I'm pretty sure. Whoa. Oh, I forgot I got that ow skill. <laughs> I haven't even tried it yet. Glide jump skill. Yeah, we were definitely here before. I remember it when I was looking for the thing. So, whoa. Oh, that's tumbleweed. Just <laughs> it had a weird thing going on with the light. So, I don't know if there's a way up on top of this thing. Eh. And I don't know if this is planned for some future content. There's some chickens around, apparently. Is that a chest up there? No, that's just a tree of some kind. Are there ledges? Because I don't think you can do anything with these blocks here. Those blocks do not break. And that's right, there is spots you can fall in this thing, I'm pretty sure. But I wonder, would this be a good spot? Or maybe over on that rock over there be a good spot for a base? Or there, that looks pretty cool actually. It's got like the, you know, the windiness going up like that. Where are we precisely? I mean, this is pretty close to the middle of the map currently. I just don't know. Because I don't know what's over here. Is that... There's that bridge way over in the distance. And yeah, there's this thing in the way. I don't know if I want to build right here. Probably not. But that spot over there looks pretty good. I just wonder if we can make it. Well, I'm going to try it. I don't think I can get any higher than this. And I believe it looks like I can hopefully get there. And this is... Yeah, going the direction we need. Oh, this is on top of this one. We've been here too, just not up on top of it, I don't think. Yeah, this thing can glide. Oh, I forgot to use my jump, but I didn't really need to. The updraft. Yeah, this isn't a bad spot either. We can build a castle thing up there. We got some flat land in various locations. No, I think I did get up on top of here before. It's been a little while. Yeah, right here wouldn't be too bad of a spot. It's a little slopey, so farming is going to be interesting. But, yeah, there's something up here. I mean, the little markers. Those four, I wonder. Yeah, from here, be a good place to launch into the unknown. Into the unknown. Sorry, I have a, a young daughter, so <laughs> sure some of you will get that reference. And yeah, don't knock my singing voice. That's why I don't do much of it. Oh, is that? No, that's all the way over there. Okay, I know what spire that is. So there's, yeah, that's that spire that we go to to get that random thing every now and then. So I think this is a good spot because this is right in the middle. We can build up from here. That's <laughs> not even rendering in that um, the pillar looking rock over there. So then it's just a question of where to put down our flame altar. I kind of want it in the center of our construction. So I think I want that to be in the center, like right about here. So this guy right here, you're going to go... Hmm. Yeah, I think about... Not enough free space. What are you talking about? We're going to have to mine it. No, I guess we'll just have to shift it over a bit. Right about there, I think. Should do. Yeah. Bam. And that will be our new home. How do you build the... Or, yeah, get the... It's just shroud core for that. I don't know how many of those we're going to need. But... That should do, because then we can get almost anywhere by gliding, if we can't get there by um, fast traveling. Get all the way into there. What is that? Is that the rebel wood? Yeah, something like that. There's a rebel wood over here. I don't remember. No, I think this is the rebel wood, because the rebel wood tower is right there. Yeah, so that's got to be the rebel wood area. 
Oh, it's all the shroud. That's where we haven't been. <laughs> that makes sense. And then on top of that, that's on top of the crypt, isn't it? No, that's not. That's a different crypt, maybe. Well, let's go and check it out, because now we have our thing down. No reason not to head on over this way. There's like a house thing down there. Not sure what that is. Yeah, there's a hole into the shroud. Like the plateau on top. Yeah, there's random buildings. Is that a shroud route down there? Just some glowy stuff. It's just some glowy stuff. Well, here's a town. I've seen this town before, I don't think. Yeah, and you don't get fall damage when you hit with the glider. That's what Schnizelmo told me. <laughs> I'm always so worried. Oh, they got dudes in here, huh? Hey, dudes. What are you up to? Well, these guys are too low level to be up to much of anything. But I will take your stuff. Because I always need more stuff. Although, I'm running out of room for stuff. What is this? Um, creepy noises? What are the creepy noises? I don't know. Something's making creepy noises, though. What is it? Oh, bats. This is bat noises? Why do you sound so creepy? You're too creepy sounding to be just a bat. You resisted it, but not too well. Why are you out in the daytime? Bats don't go out in the daytime. Well, I guess they're bad guy bats, so they do what they want. And then this has nothing in it. The roof's blown off. So just a random graveyard. It's not even a town, really. Oh, we got another guy over here. Well, you gotta die too. And we got some more necromancers skull summoning vessels. I should probably start using those. Especially because I may be doing the next hollow halls on my own. If Shinzelmo doesn't have the time to do it. It's kind of hard to organize a time to do stuff like that. Oh, there's a well here. That's always good. Can always use more water. But we need to go get a shroud core and probably do something a little bit more interesting. So, yeah, I think I'll do that. Get this chest first, though. Um, I don't think I need that. I'm just gonna take up room in my inventory. Hey, I was busy looting stuff. Oh, you're an electric dude, so my electric thing is not gonna work that well on you. I had to hit him a lot. No, I don't want that. I want this. This has... Ooh, lockpicks and linen. Linen thread, I guess. And there's one more building. Go check this out real quick. In here. Just a dead guy and a fire. Okay. So, probably just head on home. Get ourselves a shroud core. Oh, there's another elixir well there. We haven't been that way. We can explore all this area from our, our new base. So, I'm going to head on home grab that shroud core then I suppose we'll head on see if we can get over here because we can go through this shroud now so I'd like to go see at least what's over there and how badly I'm gonna get you know totally murder related by everything Is that a word no it's probably not a lot of my friends used to say that though I don't know maybe it's a 90s thing okay um put stuff away hang on all right well I think I've got everything put away I did a bit of remodeling we got Four wells now, two of the improved wells, two of the, well, I just moved the regular ones over. I thought about taking them out and then figured, eh, we can probably use four. Got some, yeah, stuff planted. I chopped down some of the yucca trees, and they seem like they give you yuccas. You get four when they're just big and straight like this. I don't know how long it takes them to split into a, a V shape, but I'll leave those growing for a bit, just in case they do. But if they're not done, or if they're not grown into a V by tomorrow, I'm just going to chop them to get the yuccas. So we are heading over here. No, not here. Over here. Greatest game. Yeah, that's what we want to get to. Um, Surat's Rest. Yeah, I, I should have left that one there. We have this one here. It's pretty close. I do want to see, because we've got all eight down right now. I want to see if there's one I can pick up. There's this one. I got two over here. But those are very useful. Actually, I'm going to real quick go 
go and farm up those chests. I'll probably just meet you on the way down to that um, the greatest game quest. So I'll see you in a second. All right, we're over here, and I did get those chests. I actually got some decent stuff. So what I got was yeah the glue monarch trousers. So that's cool because these oh they're still level twenty three only. Are those better? 65 and 26 and ours are same 90 health 2 health regeneration these are 18 stamina and 2 health regeneration so yeah the ones we have are probably better and then we got this is that better this is 30 this is 35 though fire magic vicious and fire magic this one is all fire magic it's got head seeker we don't have any skill shots though that i'm aware of unless that's just when you hit them in the right spot Maybe, I don't know what that means. And then recharge. So that one's probably better for the time being. But this one could be better later. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, backstab. Yeah, we don't do much backstab. So that's probably not the one for us. Oh, and then what else? We got the other thing. Um, this guy. But that's a two-handed weapon. Rot blood. Pretty decent. But we're not a two-handed person. So we are heading that away. I'm just wondering if it's a good idea to just fly there? My guess would be that it's not. Because... Is it in the shroud, or is it... Yeah, it's hard to say. It looks like it's past the shroud to me. So if we go straight that away, Oh, we should probably... Yeah, get some of that going. May as well get some of that going, too. I'm trying to use that up anyway. And... Yeah, let's just head on in. Because I think I see a ramp coming out right over there right where we're heading yeah it's like there's a, a road and all that stuff but no we got the cool glider so we can just go over the top of all this crap well, I guess it's not really a ramp but we can definitely glide to whatever it is no it's kind of a ramp bam no shroud for me anymore <laughs> screw you guys oh what's that is that another hollow hall I gotta go check this out my squirrel brain said ooh shiny <laughs> I don't know what oh can we glide over this too oh well that didn't work out so well well it kind of worked out I forgot I tried to do a jump right in the beginning but oh it's just another one of these doors yeah it's nothing yet possibly in the future it will be something but as for now oh and go. Eh. Whoa. Almost fell off the ledge there. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. My skills are not the best. Ooh. Should we grab some lapis? No, nah, it's everywhere. I don't particularly need any right now. So we'll just leave it alone. But now we have to go in the shroud. I don't want to go in the shroud. I'm not a fan of... What? I don't like the noises the shroud makes. There's a tent, though. Fence. Not a very big patch of shroud, is it? No, it's not. So we shall go in. I want to see if there's anything at this tent to read. It's not really a tent. It's kind of a windbreak. Oh, that's what I meant to grab is some freaking st Oh, I didn't grab a flame altar, though, so grabbing stone wouldn't have mattered. Hey, buddy. Oh, come on. There we go. Grab some of that, because we do need the critter parts. I've found. I probably mentioned that before, but I'm actually using them to make stuff now. And this shroud is more intense. Well, it's definitely longer than I originally expected it to be. What's with the music? So is the thing we're looking for in the shroud? Oh, there's just like shroud along this whole path. But if we just step up this way, we're out of the shroud. Okay. There's some guys over there fighting. That and, Oh, some saffron. I'm going to grab the saffron. Because that stuff grows really slow. Yeah, so these ones is what Schnizelmo was saying. The, the Y-shaped ones. I've seen bigger versions of this. I think there might just be two different types. The see, did that... Yeah, that didn't drop anything. But that was a small one. I've seen... Oh, no, it did drop four. Okay. But yeah, then, like I said, the ones that I have back at the base, they were dropping four also. So I don't know if they like I don't know if they actually do the Y when they're in the farm when you grow them. 
Yeah, so I guess you can go through all the shroud, but why would you? Unless you like being in the shroud. They really need a, like a shroud build. I know there are shroud abilities, but they need something that's like, you know, you gain benefits, like some sort of armor where you'd have a benefit from being in the shroud. Like you could still get the shroud detriment, but like your, you know, your damage goes up or something. That'd be pretty cool while you're fighting in the shroud. Maybe there are st things like that. I just haven't come across them. Maybe I have. I seem to recall something that says something about shroud stuff doing damage. But I think it uses your shroud stuff, not the, the shroud itself. Like, it takes your, your shroud time away in order to do more damage. What I thought I read. What is that? Just a random pole? Interesting. That's like a crucifixion pole. Yeah, in, in real life, most people who are crucified were actually crucified on just a straight pole like that, and they'd just, you know, tie them up or nail them or however they did it. Deep cut. Um, that's not where we're going, though. This looks like a scavenger place. Yes, with a matron. Very much eat. Oh. Quest complete. So this is the place. And there's another sun, sun temple. What's at the other sun temple, then? Well, we definitely have more things to do. Oh, come on. Get me the double jump. Nobody even up here. Oh, there is somebody up here. I'm gonna say. Oh, crap. Um, there's nowhere higher. I don't want to be on there swinging my sword at him. While that's going on. Yeah, there. There. <laughs> That's what you get, buddy. So I knew if I just started swinging up there, I was going to explode myself. But now we lost the perch. That's kind of annoying. Nobody else, though. Oh, there's this guy. At least you don't have any explosives by you. So that's a bonus. And then you are just arrows? Yeah. No, just die. And then the matron is coming. But yeah, she doesn't deal with height well, as we learned from her sisters. So we'll just stay up here. Or maybe even a little higher. Because she could probably hit us with the AoE effect of her thing. Yeah, she doesn't even know we're here anymore. Hopefully they update that. Because the AI should be able to do something about you. Otherwise, well, I guess if you were a magic user, you could do the same thing. But you just sit here and pelter with arrows. She can't do anything about it. Oh, well, there we go. Now we're getting the criticals. We were for a second. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. Got two criticals in a row, though. Oh, there's one. Yep, nope. you're getting them. Well, I had to do this for the quest, lady. Although, I guess the quest was completed when we just found the place. That's kind of disappointing. Like, you just find it, and you take them out, and that's that's the quest. There weren't any, any green dudes at the, at the entrance here, anyway. Yeah, she's not happy about it, but why are you just sitting there and taking it? I don't know. I guess she just doesn't care. Like, I'll just die, then. Thanks very much. Come on. I'm so glad I got all these arrows. That was a wonderful gift. And I may as well take you out, too. Since he doesn't seem to care. What about you? Do you care? Oh, you're gonna move, are you? Yeah, see, they move. What? Dinner? He said something about dinner. Did you guys hear that? Or is that just me? Nope. Oh. He doesn't seem to care too much. Alright. Now, what do we got from her? Just another matron head? Oh. I didn't see that wolf sneaking up on me for a second. As you could probably tell. Yeah, what do you have? Yeah, just another matron head and the same sword we already got. Is that a better version, though? Yeah, let me go out here real quick. So they don't attack me immediately. Just so I can see... That, that's level 25, ours is level 22, so yeah, it's better. 
Yeah, but ours, did we? Yeah, I upgraded ours, of course. And you don't get as many runes back, is the one problem when you, you know, like scrap or whatever it is to get the runes. These archer guys are just annoying more than anything. They don't really do much. And we got the noise from the shroud. I'm pretty sure that's just a noise the shroud makes. Oh, you guys killed this thing. Well, I do need the feathers. Although, not so much. I don't really need to craft anything anymore as far as arrows go. Are you going to attack or what? I'm so used to the green guys. These guys are like slow motion versions. Oh, he had the good meat. Nobody up here? Just a scrap pile of some kind. Ooh, meat. And there's something up here. Oh, there's a green guy. No, there's nothing really up here. Alright, green dude. We're gonna fight you with this one. Yeah, come on. Come on, let's fight. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was ready. I was not ready. There we go. Now I'm ready. Yeah. That's what you get. And get him. Oh. Yeah, it kind of turns you when you do the merciless attack. Although I could have done another one I saw. Um, is there a good way in here other than just chopping it with an axe? Like chopping it with an axe will work just fine, seems like. Um, why is it? There we go. I'm not sure what's going on here. Are there prisoners? Mm. He's not a prisoner. Well, all your buddies are dead. So I don't think they're coming. Would you... There we go. Yeah, you can just continue the Merciless. I just forget most of the time. And just go straight into the... Yeah, mouse attack. Elder's Staff. Ranged weapon. That... It's gotta be a good thing, right? If you're a magic user. Yeah, we might respec into magic once we get done with all of the stuff. Go through again and try and... Ooh. <laughs> is that the sun going away? Is that a cloud? There's something. There is more to this place. Yeah, what more is there to this place? There's this guy, a green boy. Ooh, and somebody trying to explode me. Where's the guy trying to explode me? He's somewhere. Nope. Well, he could see me. Why can I not see him? Whoa! Is he in here? Yep, he's not in here. There's a chest in here. Some bomb. <laughs> Some bomb. Just one bomb. No? Nothing else? Well, I don't want to attack the green guy and get, like, um, bombed from behind. Ha! Saw him. Well, I did see him. Where'd he go? There. He was attacking something. He was over here, wasn't he? Is he in here? He's not in here. Hmm. Where'd the green guy go? Everybody left me. I wanted to play. Oh, he's in here. Whoa. No, I don't want to destroy the chest. He's going to destroy the chest anyway, isn't he? Um, hello? Yeah, are you going to come fight or what? Man. There we go. Ooh, this guy's faster. I just can't do the timing in the dark. There we go. And get him again. Nice. All right, that's how you do it. Okay, we got some of this stuff, which I guess is good and all. This, ooh, the lie chest. So that's I'm guessing for stamina and health, eighty-two, eighty-two. That's got to be for archers, right? But it looks like it'd be pretty good for us as well. 
Well, for me. I don't know about you guys. Okay, is there anything else in here? Or is this the end of this area? Because I don't want to stay here all night just to find out that there's nothing else. Oh, there is more over there. Alright, well, I did make a bunch of these potions. Well, I made five. I don't know if five is a bunch. But I suppose we may as well use one. Oh no, this is where we already were. Dang it. I get turned around in this game so bad. I think this is it. Is that really the end? Kind of looks like it is. It's like there's something up there, though. And glowing bluish. Alright, we'll mine ourselves away up there. Eh. We can. Yeah, okay, see you in a second. Well. Whoa, stop. Oh, it's just one of these guys. Man, well, I do like their meat, so... And it's just nasty shroud stuff over there. Glowing green. The shroud always gl glowing green like that. Where the heck even are we? We're way over here. Yeah, that's just regular shroud, it looks like. There's something... Well, I don't know if there's something up there, but... There's a, a place up there. Um, it doesn't look like there's a very good way to get down into that and then back up. Not easily. And I don't see any reason why I would want to go in there. Right? There's no markers. There's the Sun Temple. But I think getting there would be better from somewhere higher up over here. So I suppose I'll head back home. We can always get over here from another direction. Alright, so I came back here to get a thumbnail. <laughs> and apparently I missed a whole area. That's what happens when you come places in the dark. Eh. We don't need to block you that much anyway. Oh, yeah, we do. Ow. Yeah, I didn't even repair my armor or anything. So. Hey, buddy. Oh. Didn't quite get that off. Oh, man. So I guess the amount of light doesn't really matter. I'm just not that good at parrying. Yeah, and get him again. If we get him again, yeah. Just keep, yeah, hammering it. <laughs> we even got him after he was dead. Nice. All right, anybody left up here? Just this guy? Th oh, there is another matron. Okay. Yeah, I thought I saw another matron wandering around up here. Man, this guy's so slow compared to the green guy. Yeah, you just die because I need to find high ground. Yeah. Got out of there just in time. Oh, there is a thing. Um, a grapple point. Yeah, can you... Ooh, you can just about hit me, huh? Ooh. Yeah, alright. So we actually do need to do... A little bit of maneuvering here. Here we go. Yeah. They didn't give you any good um, high ground for this fight. They were like spoiling you, kind of. Yeah, up here with the first one. They're like, we'll give you some really good high ground for that first one. And then this one. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, you're gonna have to figure it out on your own. Where is there? Probably over there. Get up on that thing. You are not in an ideal location, lady. Whoa. Yeah, that didn't help. Man. I suppose we could burrow ourselves a little hole to trap her in again. Well, there she is. At least they're really slow. It does make things a little bit easier. Can we get up here? Looking like maybe. Oh man. Yeah, there's a gold chest. I was like, there's gotta be a gold chest in here somewhere. Well, don't spend too long doing that because she's coming. Oh, did you heal? I think she healed when I fell off over there. Oh, I could use my thing. I forgot to use my updraft. Yeah, can you throw up here? I don't think she can throw up here. And we need to go... whoops. Well, good thing it doesn't heal you when you don't need to heal. There. Nope, that didn't... Did that dig her down? 
No, not enough. Just both throwing each other. Throwing stuff at each other. Is that... It's not counting. For whatever reason. Maybe it's hitting her in the head, because her head is shielded by the helmet thing. Oh, come on. Yeah, maybe that's why we didn't get any quest updates from our friends. Very well be. So definitely if you come here, come in the daytime. Try and do everything in the daytime. It's just too hard to see things in the dark. I got a critical on her shoulder. Yeah, I just wish these weren't just hit point sponges. That's one thing. I mean, I guess they're just meant for multiple people. Because it would be much more interesting if you had somebody, like, tanking the damage and then people running around trying to hit her with stuff. But when you're just by yourself, you just have to find the high ground and just shoot her with arrows until she dies. There we go. Yep, a little bit dull. But it's the job to... Oh, yeah, I forgot about the explosion. Did I? No, I think I did get caught in it a little bit, didn't I? Yeah, it seems that way. Oh, well. So, now we got two of their heads. And what is this? Oh, that's just her bones. They disappear. Is there anything in the tents? No, it doesn't really look like... Alright, well, give me my gold chest. I friggin' earned it. Oh. <laughs> I guess I earned that, too. <laughs> and a repair bench. Awesome. Shocking ice wand. It's... And it's not really worth it. But I will take the free repair. And... Yeah. That's going to be the end of this one. Is that, I don't think there's going to be three matrons. I don't I didn't see anywhere else they could hide another one. I don't think. Yeah, we went over there. We went up here. That's like the end of this place. Oh wait, there's this over here. Real quick. Let's finish this off. We did not go up here. Yeah, I think that's got to be it. There's some sulfur right there. In case you're looking for sulfur, that's what it looks like. I think most people know what sulfur looks like, but you never do know. Ooh. Silver chest. I will take free silver. Oh, that's the one we already got. Okay. So I guess that's how you're supposed to get in there. I'll take that. Wood logs. I am running low on wood logs. So I wish I'd grabbed those before. No, I think that's definitely the end of this place. Yeah, looks like. Alright, well, back to the rest of the video then. So, yeah, let's head on over. See if they got anything new for us since we went and took that thing out. Right? That's usually how it works. Now, I know it's too far. I don't know why it always says too far when you've got the pickaxe on. No? Nobody's got any new quests for us? Because who sent us over there? Was it you? I think it was him. I'll be like nothing. Here. You make a new workbench. Or is the workbench we get just the one workbench and that's it? Yeah, it looks like tools would be in here, right? Any wheel, improved water well we got. Yep. And then furniture. Alright. Watch out for splinters. Well, I will watch out for splinters. You do the same, buddy. Um, you don't have anything for us. New. Alright then, yes, that's going to be the end of this episode, because that's all I really had planned. <laughs> so hopefully it's not too short. I did split it over a couple days because there was a lot of farming involved, and, you know, yeah, mostly farming. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next time we're going to, if we're not doing the hollow halls, which we, we might probably go and do, but I do plan on doing that um, build right here of our new castle home area so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see the full build like i probably i don't know how I'll exactly work it but i probably just would do a sped up version maybe get some you know some non-copyrighted music or whatever and yeah just do that but also do regular episodes as well it'd be i don't know kind of like an extra thing either way let me know how you feel about building and whatnot whether i should actually even bother with the video or just show you guys when it's done and yeah so click that like button as always if you enjoyed it and um, subscribe if you're not a subscriber already it really helps me grow the channel 
And as always, I thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.